Karen Morrison of the Victor Trading Company in Victor, Colorado. And we're hand making brooms the old fashioned shaker way. Right now I'm applying broom corn to the handle. This is the beginning of the broom. And Sam's doing the end of the broom, which is stitching it. Um, shakers came up with this type of a broom in the 1790s. And equipment is from about 1900. And right now I'll be starting to put on shoulders, which will be making the broom flat, which is what the shaker style broom is. Applying broom corn to each side. And the machine tensions the wire so the broom is nice and tight on the handle. style kitchen broom, our most popular broom. All this goes on the inside, you never see it because it's covered up with the top coats. Stitching a broom. To do that, you have a double-ended needle, threads in the middle. And you have sewing cuffs that have a steel plate so you can push it through. It's kind of a slow process. This particular broom gets four rows. Tied up into the first row. And we're going to stitch it. And it's a simple kind of a weaving stitch. You know, under and over. You start to needle with your fingers and you push it through with your sewing cloth. It's not so bad on the edges, but in the middle of the room it's quite tight and dense. Rooms becoming more flat. And then just put a rundown staple just to keep it from shifting. Hanging loop because you always want to hang up your broom when you're not using it. 